Rock's Classic Rock, Q1043. Thanks, Jim. Uh, welcome to Flight Plan, Hassan Redick. Uh, let's see, linebacker, defensive end, edge. I've seen it written every single way. <laughs> what do you call yourself? Oh, man, it, you know, because of what you just said, uh, the weapon, you know. Uh, oh, I like that. Linebacker, DN, edge, whatever, wherever, wherever they need to put me at, uh, uh, you know, or however they want to specify it, I'm good to So go. it doesn't matter to you what they call you? Not at all. I I'll go with weapon. I think we created a new position title. All right. Welcome, Hassan Reddick, Weapon. Uh, so how's the process been? You're getting up to speed in the last month. Uh, you, you think you're at full right now? Uh, I'm, I would say pretty close, really, really close. Um, the, the the progression has been uh, extremely well for me, um, you know, and, and, and that's a big help uh, to Aaron uh, uh, Kai. We call him A-Dub, uh, my position coach, um, and the guys in the room as well. You know, they've been uh, nothing short of excellent and, you know, helping me get ready, helping me prepare, getting me up to speed as far as the playbook. Um, now for me, it's just, you know, taking, you know, taking the playbook and um, letting my talent shine on the field now, you know, getting it thinking out of the way, understanding my job and being able to play full speed. Well, we got the Colts this week. It's it's really I mean, this is a true must win for both teams. Does the, the sense of urgency change things in your preparation or is just sitting you know, out there and everyone knows. I wouldn't say it changed anything in my preparation, but um, like you said, the sense of urgency is definitely there. Um, understanding where we are at this point in the season, understanding, uh, you know, what it is that we need to do, uh, you know, and that's, and that's get these W's, start piling up some W's in the win column, um, you know, and trying to turn this thing around. So Joe Flacco had been the starter for them. Uh, looks like Anthony Richardson now. So you got a, a veteran, shall we say, pocket passer mm -hmm. versus a, a virtual rookie more mobile for sure uh who would you rather face does it matter uh to me it doesn't matter you know both uh quarterbacks uh they 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 present their own challenges um like you said you got a veteran guy in joe flacco who who you know he he played a lot of ball in his league super bowl mvp won a super bowl uh he knows how to get it done and um you know from the film from what i watched on him uh he, he still has his arm he he could still he could still throw the ball <laughs> seventy yards easy. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as Richardson, um, young guy, mobile QB, uh, just an athlete. You you see him on tape. He's uh he's strong. He has a um Cam Newton likeness to him. Um, if you ask me, you see him struggling guys off. Uh, so like I said, both guys present their own challenges. Um, it's just about you know depending on who shows up on game day. Well, you've been a sack machine. Uh, I mean, really a forced fumble machine. I saw you, number one in the NFL since 2020. Yes, That's indeed. pretty cool. Um, do, do you think with a guy like Richardson, you got more of a chance like he's might be holding the ball out there and uh, like a loaf of bread instead of tucking it away and uh, opportunity he, presents itself? As it presents itself, yes. That's that's just something, you know, as I've been on the edge for these uh, last couple years, um, it, it was just a point of emphasis for me. Uh, I feel like if I can get there fast enough, why why go for a QB hit or just a sack? You know, why why not try to get the ball out? Um, so that's just a point of emphasis on my end. Um, you know, no matter who's in, whether it's Richardson or Joe, uh, you know, if I get the opportunity to get there, definitely we'll be looking to, you know, try to take the ball off the hands. Well, you grew up in South Jersey, right? Just outside Philly, right? Yes. Just across the river. Um, so, so the big debate we always hear in Jersey is, uh, you know, pork roll versus Taylor ham. Was that even a thing down there? No, well, where I'm from, man, we are, we're, uh, you know, we're, we're big on cheesesteaks down in that area. Oh, just cheese. Well, yeah, okay. Well, I'll you know, it. being that close to Philly, you know, um, being from Camden, New Jersey, being that close to Philly, uh, a big thing of ours is uh, cheesesteaks. Um, you know, that, that's where you get the Philly cheesesteak and all of that type of stuff. So, um, that that's what we grew. That's what I grew up on down in that area. How often do you get back? Are you like up and down the turnpike all day? Uh, not all the time, nah, but, you know, uh, still, you know, depending on if I have time going down there to grab things like clothes and stuff like that, uh, you know, maybe passing by some of my favorite spots uh, before I make my way back up here. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Did you grow up an Eagles fan? Yes, I did. I did. Oh, no. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I grew up an Eagles fan. Um, when I was younger, uh, you know, I, I played a bunch of different positions. Um, growing up, my main position was actually running back. Um, and I was a big Deuce Daly fan at the time. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. yeah. And then um, Deuce ended up making his way to Pittsburgh and I had became, you know, I, I was such a, I was such a Deuce fan uh, or I was, you know, that um, I had ended up becoming a Stutters fan for a little while as well. Is that allowed? <laughs> oh man, you know, but, well, you know, I, I always still cheer for the Eagles. Uh, you know, I always had love for them in my heart, but you know, when you have your, you know, that that was the guy that I watched on TV growing up, you know? So when sure. you have your favorite player, you, you know, you tend to try to go where your favorite player is. Understood, but still a little weird. <laughs> um, all right. Well, we got the salute to service game this Sunday. Uh, we're honoring those who serve our country. Obviously, Veterans Day was on Monday. Uh, you know, we didn't have the home game, so that's coming up. Uh, is there some people in your life who've served that you'd like to shout out that you know? Uh, you Actually, my grandfather was in the Marines for a while, so I would definitely like to shout him out. Um, what was his name? His, uh, his name is Raymond Davis. Raymond yes. Davis. Okay. Yep. So I would like to give a shout out to my grandpa. Um, he, he, he did serve. Um, um, and I would say that, you know, based on my upbringing, um, he, he served a lot of principles or he, uh, instilled a lot of principles and like my father and morals that, uh, you know, that helped me get to where I'm at today. Well, there's, you know, there's people who've served their country. Then there's Marines. There's like a whole nother level. Um, one of our uh, our engineers who works on our, our broadcast with you guys is George Marshall. And uh, he is a he's a Marine veteran. And man, it's uh, it's a whole different mindset. And we well, love those guys. Too, and thank them every day. Service. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right. Well, Hassan Reddick, the weapon. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us this morning. Spend a few minutes. Go get him this Sunday at the at the stadium, and uh, game time is one o'clock. Uh, we appreciate your time. Hey, Biggie, appreciate you, baby. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me on, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. New York's classic rock, Q one zero four three.